I always remember the tomatoes that I grew in the garden as a child. They were delicious, they were fresh, and most importantly, I participated in the process of growing them, which means that I actually cared about what happened to them. When we go to the grocery store today, our produce doesn't taste like this. It's bland and it has been for a while. This is because our food system is designed to live for travel rather than for taste. The produce is pricked pre-ripened, reducing the nutrient content and flavor. In fact, going to the frozen food section in the grocery store yields more nutrition than actually the fresh produce uh, from the grocery store, which is surprising to many. It's also incredibly inefficient, the supply chain. So for every one of those tomatoes that gets to our table, another one's lost in the process. And it doesn't stop there. 70% of our global fresh water goes to industrial agriculture. And over the last 30 years, we've seen a 350% in increase in diabetes rates because people aren't eating enough fruits and vegetables. And frankly, why would they if they have no flavor? But beyond the taste of enjoying fresh picked produce, what's lost is the joy in growing your own produce. The spirit of the gardener extends beyond growing plants. It represents the ability to thoughtfully nurture and participate in the world around us. I've been fascinated since childhood in the relationship between people and food. As founder and CEO of Sprouts.io, I'm committed to realizing a new future for local produce at a personal level. With Sprouts.io, we offer the ability for anyone to grow produce, regardless of their local climate or growing experience. Sprouts.io's high-efficient system for growing produce indoors year-round allows anyone, anytime, anywhere to grow produce with a, stand, with a fraction of the resources needed by standard practices. We're bringing you closer to your produce than you've ever been before and creating a feedback cycle in the process. So what we do is we reduce the amount of resources that go into growing the produce. We use 98% less water and 60% less nutrients. And in the process, we increase the nutrition by picking the produce fresh off the vine. I know, it's a miracle. Um, on top of that, we optimize the way that the produce is grown with something that we call growing profiles, which are effectively recipes for growing different types of produce and system. And we call this experience personal produce. The Sprouts.io system is comprised of three main components. The device for growing, which includes smart LED lighting. It also includes a number of sensors on board to monitor the environment surrounding the plants, as well as our hybrid hydroculture, which allows us to grow completely soil-free and system. We've also developed the SIO, which is a renewable seed disk that has the seeds, the nutrients, and the growing medium to grow all different types of produce, from root vegetables to leafy greens to tomatoes, which clearly I love. Um, it's also completely home compostable, which was incredibly important in the development. Sprouts.io Grow is the third piece and really the backbone of what we do at Sprouts.io. So there's a number of software services that are provided with Sprouts.io that analyze how your produce is growing in system in real time. We even have a camera, camera on board that monitors the plants while they're growing. And so we're constantly able to optimize how that produce grows in system. And what's incredible is let's say you like a tomato that's savory and I like one that's sweet. We can actually adapt the way that that produce tastes based on our own fla flavor preferences. And I'll talk a bit more about this. Sprouts.io, of course, didn't happen overnight. It's been seven years of research and development in the making. So I worked with the New York City Parks Department to develop a large-scale hydroponic prototype for the outside of buildings. Hydroponics is just when the roots are fully submerged in water and nutrients. I then moved on to work with the Boston Public School System to develop an aeroponic prototype where the roots are misted with water and nutrients for middle school students to grow indoors in the classroom. The next piece was the work that I did with the MIT Media Lab during my master's thesis in 2013. 
So I developed uh, the proof of concept for Sprouts IO that incorporated the sensors that started to look at the environment around the plant and really be able to tell what's going on behind the scenes with our plants. It was at that point that I then moved from academia into bringing this idea into the world. And so with my co-founder in 2014, uh, we developed the complete functional prototype, which we tested in the Boston area with over 50 people. And we have them test at home. Uh, we also have them come in for focus groups in the office. And we learned a tre tremendous amount, both what was working well and what we could improve. But what was fascinating is so many people wrote into us saying, I have a black thumb, I don't know how to grow, I'm almost afraid of plants. But once they had a great experience growing once, growing twice, then they felt confident and comfortable in growing and then wanted to play and tweak the produce. And that's the thing that really gets me excited. And so in 2015 and 16, we developed what we call our design for manufacturing model. And this is the model that we're planning to launch, which is very exciting. Um, and we've been fortunate to work with a great group of chefs actually in the Boston area. So with Chef Barbara Lynch at two of her restaurants, her flagship Number 9 Park and also Montam, which is her new concept restaurant, we tested Sprouts IO and looked at how can we start to tweak the flavors of this produce with chefs who are the people who know best how produce should taste. And so let me give you a quick example of what we were looking at. So this is a Mizuna leaf. Um, this is actually from the same seed lot, two different plants. They're grown at the same time, harvested at the same time, they're the same age. The one on the left-hand side has a much stronger, more bitter taste, and is more fibrous in texture. The one on the right-hand side is much more delicate and more mild in flavor. So none of this was genetically modified. It was all done by looking at the environment of the plants and the way that they grow. So we modulated the lighting, we modulated the temperature, the watering, and also the nutrients to yield this tremendous amount of difference in the way that the produce tastes. We also worked with um, Brian Krieger, the chef at Montan, to really tweak this in detail. So I'll let him tell you a little bit more about what we did there. How's it going? My name is Brian Krieger. I'm the uh, Saucier Head Porter of uh, Montan here in Fortport, Boston. Uh, today we are working with the Sprouts IO unit uh, in the Tastemaker program and working with some plants that we've been growing for the past few weeks in the Sprouts IO unit. So here we are working with our Hydrocress. Really nice clean root system to the point where I can even you know, tug this out. I have root here. And it's delicious, it has all the same flavor of the crust, it's nice and peppery, um, but it's actually edible without me spending a lot of time cleaning it, which does take quite a bit of time. In this case, we are using this as just a simple garnish. Um, we're gonna be making in a little bit a tortellini and brodo, just simple chicken consomme with three different kinds of tortellini, and this will be our nice little garnish to really just like give it that peppery kick at the end and set the dish off. All right, and here we have Montan's tortellini and brodo, uh, plated with the micro crust that we grew in the Sprouts IO unit. A delicious and simple, wonderful dish. So what's incredible is that chefs are so creative and make these beautiful dishes. And working with Brian, it was incredible because we could come up with a whole new palette for creativity. They were able to curate the way that that produce was grown and tasted for their dishes. In fact, that pepper crust that they used replaced cracked pepper on their dishes, which was pretty interesting. And we're continuing to work with uh, Chef Barbara and her team in Boston. So most importantly, Sprouts IO empowers us to participate in the process of growing our produce, whether it's in a chef's kitchen or in the home. I believe that small scale, high leverage solution that can be solutions that can be adopted and implemented by many are disruptive when scaled. While Sprouts IO might seem small at first glance, when millions of us grow together, we can change our dependence on industrial agriculture, repositioning us from the end of the supply chain to the center of our own food cycle. Imagine a future together where we can grow and provide delicious produce. This is a small scale solution with a tremendous impact. Thank you very much.